Welcome to another Mortal Online 2 video. I'm Base Bellagio. Today we're going to talk about PvP in Mortal Online 2 and the end game. What is the end game for PvP? And some people debate whether the system is highly flawed, if it works out. We won't be discussing that too much. We're going to discuss the current state of it. PvP revolves around the reputation system. And reputation is based on the regions. There's the Tindremic provinces, which is Tindrum, Meduli, and probably Fabernum. Yes, Fabernum too. Hyspia, I'm not quite sure if that's considered the Norse reputation. One of you are going to have to comment down below. But you build up rep by doing the parcel runs from the task vendors. And if you wherever you end the parcel you deliver it to is where you're going to get the rep. So Meduli to Tindrum, you get the Tindrum rep. To Fabernum, back to Tindrum, you'll be gaining all that rep. And then the Curite towns, Moki, Bakti, Morin, Kerr, Toxai, right? And uh, Vada deliver parcels there and in my opinion even if you don't want to do pvp you want to build up a nice buffer of rep because theoretically you can ruin your character if you just keep the default five rep if you let it get below zero you can't go to the area you know that's the said rep area so if i drop below zero in tindrum i can't go <clears throat> to Tindrum anymore. The guards will attack you on sight. And personally, I don't know if there's a way out of that as of right now. I don't know if there's like a way to gain rep. Maybe if you just like sneak into town somehow and deliver a parcel. I'm not sure. Again, let me know down below. That might be one of the major flaws. People say though, if you go negative, you know, five points of rep, zero, then you deserved it. You know, you're a murderer. Who knows? Who knows? My whole point is don't allow that to happen. How would that happen if you have enable criminal actions on and you make a mistake in town? Pretty much every crime you commit in town while you're alive is not one rep lost. It's if the guards see you like doing something. You'll lose one rep, they'll come and kill you. But let's just say you're on the outskirts of town and you're doing bad stuff. And you run in town a little bit, the guard sees you lose his rep, but you escape. The guards don't kill you, and you're still a criminal. If you go back near town again, you can be seen again. And you can lose multiple rep. I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque just now. We're not going the right way, but we're going the long way. <clears throat> Basically, let's drink a little water. Get our stamina back. PvP endgame as of right now consists of building up a lot of rep, a big buffer, and then going out to do whatever flavor of PvP you enjoy. Whether it's bottom barrel PvP or just fighting in the graveyard, whether it's ambushing, griefing, or honorable Zerg Wars, you are going to lose rep for anyone that reports you for a murder. So if you hit three people in, in, in a big PvP fight, and this is like non-honorable PvP, usually an honorable PvP war like that, you they won't report you for murder. But it's possible. Like two grudging guilds, they might report each other for murders. But if three people report you for murder, I think that's a negative three rep. If five people report you for murder, it's negative five rep. So you can lose all five of that rep in one battle. You really want to, before going out with your friends and doing any type of hot action, you really want to build up a lot of rep, in my opinion. 10, 15, 20. I don't think you can have enough if you want to, if you're like an actively PvP. Um, I wish there were more ways to gain rep as of right now. Henrik, I think, talked about adding some. I'm not sure. 
if you are a chaotic guild, chaotic, evil, neutral, good, and you're engaging in PvP against other guilds and other regions, you want to plan accordingly. You might not ever want to go to a Kurai town, you think. I think that's wrong. I think you, you, you would want to reconsider that position. I think you should go to these places and farm reputation before going to PvP war. You know, you want to go to war against a guild in the east, you're going to be losing a lot of Kurite rep. Go there and prep for a week and do a lot of missions. See the region, plan out the area, and gain rep. No reason not to. If you're traveling and doing business, trade, uh, even just hunting in different regions, if you travel from town to town, you should always be gaining rep. You should always be picking every task you can imagine. People thought that you lose rep when you die and lose these parcels. You don't at all. There's no negative for taking every task you get. Like right now, when we get to where we're going, we're going to take the, the task going back to where we came from, to Bacti, and we're going to take Meduli. Even if we're not planning on going to Meduli, just in the event that we get to Meduli, you know, in my travels, then we'll just have a task there. So PvP endgame right now literally is farming rep for these battles. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? I am lost. Uh, I think we go this way. When you leave town, if you are a solo player or with a guild, my opinion is you should always have criminal actions enabled. Mine isn't right now. That just gives you the ability to shoot first if people are chasing you. Otherwise, you won't do any damage. You won't become a criminal. I'm not following my own advice right now. I think mine is off. But we're almost to where we're going as long as I'm not too lost. Which it looks like I am. Walk a little bit. They just added more Red Priests to the game. Red Priests are priests you could spawn at when you're a criminal. They added them to every keep in the game, enhancing players' ability to fight at these keeps. That means you could respawn when you're a criminal, get back into the fight. Also, real criminals in game will respawn there. That's if you're like a, if you get a murder count, I don't know how, how it goes. A couple murders under your belt, you know, I think you become a murderer in game and there's an actual timer, maybe an eight hour timer or something like that before that title goes away. Somebody correct me down below. Again, I am not a PVP chaotic, you know, one of, like one of the bad guilds. I'm not going out there and testing this system like crazy. Just now I'm testing it in PVP and so far no one's reported me for murder. I've only lost a rep by the guards in town. So tell me below in the comments how you would improve the PvP Immortal Online 2. I know there's a lot of veterans with a lot better opinions on this than I have. I am just somebody that's using the system and learning it from a perspective of a player. Just like any new player. Where the hell are we? <laughs> How would you improve this? Some people say make permanent murder titles for people that want to be bad. Give back like crazy. Oh man, this doesn't look good. Give back all the crazy titles for, the, for good and bad people like Ultima Online, you could become a Dreadlord, you know, if you were really notorious. I think that was a great system from Ultima Online. There should be something like that in this game. Make people permanent red or give huge red timers for people that want to keep that timer and it keeps going up and up and up. But not like in a punishment level. Make it like after 10 murders, 5 murders, 
the, the timer starts raising and you like you know people are like proud of that when you hit like the 200 hour timer for murder count you become like a dra i don't know we're making this up on the fly here as i'm lost in the woods so again tell me down below what you think and thank you for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you didn't and thank you very much